Hi, Sandy here from the Paddle School and in this video today we're going to talk about the most common errors for the backhand side. Now the backhand is one of the more basic shots, it's the ground stroke that you learn relatively early in paddle but there are some really common errors that you see all the way up the levels and this video we're going to cover those and hopefully get them out of your game. The most common error is what players do with their left hand. Now this is something that we see a lot, that players they come, they're new to paddle and they know they should be hitting one handed so they take the racket in their dominant hand and either this left hand is just kind of dangling down by the side of their body and they're just swinging like this in which case they don't get that rotation when that left hand pulls it back or they're grabbing the top of the racket which ends up pulling the racket away so you can see that my wrist is bent just from pulling the top of that racket or sometimes they go for the double hander but they're using it on shots that are more difficult. The double hander is aimed at using power either after that side glass or on the return but it's not used off the back glass to flick the ball back like this. So the aim here is really to get players to use that left hand on the throat of the racket. They bring the racket back and you can see that me bringing the racket back turns my shoulders. They get in the position and then they release that with their hand going through the ball so they contact just in front of the hit. That's the purpose of using the left hand, it's guidance, but also when you release, you get a little bit of extra power, that left hand comes away, and that is how you should be hitting your backhand when you're using your left hand. The second most common error is the contact point. You see this far too often, especially players that are relatively new to paddle, they're contacting way too far in front of their body. You sometimes see it that they contact behind or too far away, but most of the time it's in front. And the problem with that is they're not confident with their backhand, and so they swing early for that ball coming over and end up jabbing. And you can see as soon as I bring my racket forward that my wrist bends, and you can see that I'm just using my wrist on this shot. So what you want to try and do is allow that ball to come a bit closer to you, come more down your end of the court, and when you start your swing, therefore you can contact that ball in front of your right hip. That way you can transfer your body weight and it's much easier for you to get power. You've got your whole arm going into that shot instead of just your wrist. The third most common error is control of the spins. Now, most players don't learn to hit flat on their backhand when they come to the paddle court. They hit the slice, they're comfortable with the slice because they've come from tennis, they feel that this shot is easy and they end up hitting slice even on balls that are really low and trying to bring the ball up and down over the net. And then what happens is they play to a level where they get punished for that or they have to hit with such a low margin that they make a mistake. So what you want to do is try and learn to hit flat from the beginning. I've done a previous video on this which I'll link to in the comments, but what you want to really try and do is anything that's below waist height you want to practice just coming through flat on the ball and anything above waist height, chest height, that's when you can kind of come down that ball and you can be a little bit more aggressive. Don't try to hit too much slice if the ball is too low because there's a high risk of you making a mistake. A bonus tip for the backhand is that when you take that racket back, always try and have a slight bend in the elbow. If you have a bend in the elbow, that means you're not having a rigid arm so that when you swing through with a rigid arm, you end up pulling your shoulder up and therefore your contact has less power and less control and often it's a reason that you end up contacting too far in front. If you bend that elbow, and I'm talking about a relaxed bend, not like a rigid bend, a relaxed bend, when you get to the back here, you can control that ball, you can turn the racket head so it's flat, or you can hit down with a slice if it's a slightly higher ball, but you have some choice. And having the bend in the elbow gives you more give on the shot and therefore more control on that ball. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos about the common errors and how to eradicate them, please look at this playlist.